Hey guys, welcome to the Field of 68 YouTube channel. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and you'll get more college basketball content just like this. Kansas tonight in a battle at the top of the Big 12 and Houston won 76 to 46. I believe it is the first 30 point loss that Bill Self has taken uh, as a member of the Big 12. Um, they also lost by 29 earlier this year, so I don't know if it's necessarily saying anything that crazy. Kansas just isn't really all that good. Um, Hunter Dickinson got hurt in the game. I don't know if we know any updates on that, but it looked like he uh, he did something to his shoulder. Um, dislocated, separated. I don't know if there's they put anything dislocated. out, but it was very clear. Dislocated. It was very clear what happened when he's running off, grabbing like this after someone yanks on his arm. So um, to me, this said more about Kansas. And we knew how good Houston was, but to see Kansas get their their kind of pants pulled down like this on the road in this kind of a game in that kind of an atmosphere, Jeff, that's a that's a red flag to me for this group. Yeah, when when Doug and I did our show uh, yesterday, I, I said. Listen, Houston's going to get revenge because they were embarrassed at Allen Fieldhouse. Remember, Kansas played their like their best game of the year, made every shot. Um, Shed was terrible in that game. Uh, they kind of mm -hmm. made it a game a little bit, but they should have lost by thirty. Um, so you knew they'd come out, you know, with something to prove here. And uh, Shed's been terrific. He was great today, but again, you're not playing against like the real Kansas team right now. You know, McCuller didn't play in the second half. He looks hurt every game he comes back. You know, he's got that that bone bruise in his knee that just hasn't healed and probably isn't going to heal. Uh, if I'm Bill Self, I'm not playing him in the Big 12 tournament. There's no reason to. Be a one and done at this point in the Big 12 tournament um, because, honestly, you need, you need rest. Right now, you're probably on the four line. Three, four, somewhere around there. Honestly, it probably does you better. Go to the five. Go to the five at this point. Who cares? Just get a healthy McCuller, a healthy Hunter Dickinson. Come out. Maybe maybe get, again, Timberlake more minutes. Play some of these other guys that didn't play a lot. Maybe get the confidence up a little bit. And you can make a little bit of a run. Because um, at their best case scenario, and I heard Bill Self say it today. He's like, listen, I'll take my starting five when they're healthy against just about anybody's. And he's right. He's right. But McCullough's not healthy. Hunter's not healthy now. And you have no bench. So, yeah, you'll take your starting five, but you have no bench. And uh, Furphy looked completely overwhelmed today um, physically where that wasn't the case because you're playing in the home, you know, in front of your home crowd. You get off to that great start. You make a couple of shots. You're feeling good about yourself. And today it was, it was completely the opposite. Mm -hmm. Doug? Well, if if Jeff remembers, I said he said you know he thought he thought Houston played poorly the last time. They didn't play poorly. They just Kansas made shots. I mean, go and look. And Houston had four turnovers playing there. They just Kansas made everything. And I thought that this game would go one of two ways. If it was close, I thought Kansas would win. Otherwise, I thought it'd be a, a blowout, which it was. You did say that. I, you did say that. That's right. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know that they'd shut down Dickinson and they'd shut down McCuller, but it was going that way anyway. Um, Houston's really, really good, guys. They're just really good. Yes, they. You know, they cover the earth with all that length and athleticism and toughness, and they have an elite shooter. They have an elite point guard. Uh, they have an elite coach. They have good culture. They have toughness. They're really good they're a deserving number one team and i would if we got went into it if we got into the conference discussion and you said hey is there anybody else in this league that could win a national championship i'd say no but the league is a bitch uh because I mean, they're just not a lot of easy nights you know i mean if if oklahoma state and west virginia are the easy nights first of all west virginia has got like they have actually have dudes they got talented they have a talented roster they're just a mess because you basically have an interim head coach. Um, but they only played Oklahoma State once. I think they only played West Virginia once. They played Kansas twice, play everybody, all these other teams twice. They went and beat BYU, smack BYU. Like they've played against a bunch of different styles and they've kind of vanquished them all with, you know, that one, you know, a couple exceptions here. So I like this Houston club a lot. Uh, but I'm also not selling all of Kansas stock. It does. 
it's like, man, did Bill sell his soul to win that national title? Because last year, remember, he was sick. And they're not the same when you don't have him. And then this mm-hmm. year, I just – the idea that those guys are going to be up and healthy and ready to go in, what is it, a week and a half? I don't know. I don't know. Bone bruises do not ho- uh, heal in a week and a half. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm, I, I'm I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think Hunter needs his right arm. He never uses it. You know, except a hook, <laughs> but uh, but you know, they just have no margin for error if those guys aren't right. Yeah, and and they have no margin for error even if those guys are healthy, right? Because they basically have four and a half starters. You know, Johnny Furphy had that one three week stretch where he was unconscious, and he's kind of come back to earth a little bit, and you know, it doesn't look like he's the second coming of Sfi anymore, but. Um, he's looked like a freshman, and that's what freshmen are supposed to do: look good in flashes, and then struggle for flashes. So I'm, I'm, I'm off the Kansas. Well, like, 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 like Tim, like, like Timberlake, Timberlake had played a little bit better recently, you know, and people were, mm-hmm. and then I watched him. You know, the way to beat Houston is you have to skip the ball because they load up defensively so much; they make you throw it all the way across the court. He caught one wide open, and he hit backboard before rim, and like, mm, he, he just at that level. Whatever it does he just well, that's doesn't a tough translate. game for him, right? That's a hard, that's yeah, a hard matchup. Right, but that's what those are the games you're going to be playing here the next couple of weeks. Yeah, mm-hmm. you want to go deep. You, yeah. You're right. Yeah, I'm and and look, just pause. One last note on Houston. Pause. Pause. Yeah, I heard okay. that. Thank you for watching the Field of Sixty Eight. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, hit that like button, share this link with your friends, or check out the description for some other places that you can consume Field 68 content.